back to my channel. Y'all already know who it is or you should know who it is. Six Figure Tasty Rika Rodrika, the CEO of I Tasty Cosmetics. Y'all know I got it in my voice real quick. It's the CEO. But y'all, I feel horrible right now. Today is, because I know this video probably not going to upload till next week. But today is October 8th. It's Thursday, October 8th. I feel horrible. I actually called into work today because, I don't know, I'm cramping extremely bad. Not to be TMI, but I'm just cramping extremely bad. And whenever I'm cramping, I get extremely sick. And I just didn't want to go to work. And, you know, at... I don't know if they do it if you're watching this video you work but they do a temperature check and stuff in my job and I just don't want to go to work and then they check my temperature and think I got corona or something so you know we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that but this video let me find my notes let me find my notes this video is on why you might not be getting any sales I get this question a lot whether like I'm on instagram live or whether i'm going through dms because i don't do dms at all like the only way you can contact me is by emailing my business instagram not my business instagram my business email and i just i like that would be a whole other video on why i don't do dms or messaging and stuff like that so the only way you can contact me is if it's concerning an order through my business email but this like sometimes i go through my message request or actually like pop up and like one of the most asked questions is what am I doing wrong why am I not getting sales like I always get asked that and that's what this video is going to be on so first off picture quality picture quality I feel like should be number one to why like somebody shouldn't be getting sales like if you are sitting down right now and you wondering why you haven't had sales like you might have started your business you had a sale or two you you had a sale or two then your business has been slow you need to evaluate your business and i've said this in my videos before and this is just basically repeating and adding on everything i stressed in that video if you did not see that video why are you not getting any sales you need to evaluate your business when i started my business last september i started it i didn't get any sales when i launched i got two or three sales the second day of my since my business launched and then I think I got a sale the third day and then after that I didn't get a sale for a couple days and then but it's like you got to evaluate your business go on your website go on your Instagram go on have somebody look over your website and see why might somebody not be watching why might somebody come on my page and just view it or why might somebody come on my page and ask them to, to their cart but not actually check out why do I have abandoned carts why do I have abandoned checkouts you need to sit down and try and figure out put yourself in a customer's shoe go on your website like see what's going on picture quality is very very big you don't have to have no expensive camera so there's so many things you can do to make your pictures different from other people when i started my business i don't even know like i don't got the ring light right now but i have a small little ring light and it's basically it's small and it is so bright it's so small but it's so bright and it's good because you can literally hold it directly like close like it's a handheld ring light and and you can literally hold it you can also connect it to a stand this is one of my stands right here this is actually my uh this is what like a stand i used to record videos but it broke the pieces over here it broke actually i'm trying to fix it but i have another one which is what i'm using right now but this one is who y'all i be i had told you i don't know if i told you one of my videos i literally had to put like an eyelash box right here just to hold it but you like I've seen uh, those photo boxes. There's so many things you do, you can do to make your picture quality better than the rest. There's If you have an iPhone, there's settings on iPhone. There's settings on Instagram. There's apps. There's apps to add those little sparkles to your videos. There's, um, what is it? There's effects on TikTok. There's so many different things to do that you can do to your videos to set it apart from everybody else. And you just got to sit down, like, go through different stuff, research different stuff. It's too much to just, like, talk about right now now another thing is like i said evaluating your website is everything flowing in your website i recently redid my website after my one year and everybody who went on my website who are returning customers all said they love the new look they love how my website is and even i love how my website is now because before i felt like it was just all over the place like 
it was it was fine when I first started but then it was like I kept adding more items when I first launched I literally just had lip gloss lashes and glitters those were the three things I started my business with I eventually got rid of the glitters I eventually started wholesaling because I started with my signature lashes I didn't start with the wholesale lashes I started with just my signature lashes which is my like my logo box lip gloss and glitters I eventually got rid of the lip gloss I started wholesaling I eventually added purses I eventually added lash applicators like I added so many things and it was like when I was adding these things it was like I didn't like redesign I would just try and fit it on my home page I would just try and fit it anywhere just to let it be seen and I didn't really put much thought and organization into anything so for my one year I literally went through and redid my entire site all over again like I didn't even use the old theme I was using I just clicked a, a whole other theme and redid my entire website I redid all photos like I redid everything now social media your social media also could play up into a part about why you're not getting sales a lot of my sales come from Instagram I've talked about this before Instagram is the number one platform as far as social media goes that has helped my business grow that has helped my business I started my business with no type of following on Instagram or just in general and I've been able to grow my Instagram page now it's getting harder as far as Instagram's algorithm goes and I've talked about this in a previous video but it's all about now my Instagram is kind of like it's, it's kind of all over the place but at the same time I post what people want to see and that's what you gotta realize you gotta post what people want to see you can't just sit here and post like you gotta post good quality stuff but you also gotta post what people want to see and that's what as much as how like you know how crazy that sounds you gotta post what people want to see the same way on YouTube or stuff like that People don't care about learning videos. They don't care about stuff like that. They want to see drama. They want to see that's what they want to watch. And you see the same with TV. The highest rated TV shows is the, the reality shows. And I'm not saying you got to post reality on your Instagram. But I'm just saying people like drama. People like stuff like that. But you just got to think about how to incorporate what you're selling to what people want to see. If you were a customer scrolling on Instagram, what would make you want to click on that profile? What would make you want to go visit their website even if you they're not shopping with you what would make them see and you know recognize your brand what well, you got to think about stuff like that you literally got to sit down get your notebook your journal and and just evaluate the next thing I want to talk about as far as why you might not be getting sales is what sets you apart from other businesses uh, before like when I started my business I've told y'all before I wasn't following any other businesses to like the week or two before my business launches when I actually made my Instagram but you got to sit down and think what sets you apart from other businesses just like when you walk into Sephora or you walk into Ulta what sets Anastasia what sets Huda Beauty what sets Kat Von D apart from Tarte all these different brands sell foundations, all these different brands sell lip glosses, all these different brands have eyeshadow palettes, but what would make me want to buy a Huda palette, Huda Beauty palette over an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette? What would make me want to buy a Hangover, is it Hangover? I'm trying to think of the, the palette that, um, the palette that smells like really good, it's like a chocolate palette I have, I can't remember who it's from, but you got to think what sets your brand apart from other people. Why would somebody want to shop with you versus shopping with another small business? Why might somebody want to buy your lip gloss versus another lip gloss company? And, and a lot of things come into play with that. The packaging. How is your lip gloss packaged? Is it just in a tube with no type of label? There's no way for somebody to recognize your brand. If they bought your lip gloss and months from now they want to buy another one because they love it, there was no label on it and they don't remember where the lip, the lip gloss was from. You need to think of all these things. How is your lip gloss packaged? Do you have custom logos on there, labels on there? Do you have the regular general labels? Are the labels imprinted into your lip gloss tubes? How are you shipping out your packages? As far as me, I'm a wholesaler, so when you're a wholesaler, it's kind of different. I can't really customize my packaging because at the end of the day, people don't repost my products that they purchase from me because I'm a wholesaler. They don't want people to know that I'm their wholesaler. They don't want people to know I'm their plug. So obviously, if, they sh if I shipped out 100 lashes to them, they're not going to post it for people to know, okay, this is where I got my lashes from for my business. 
So I get that. But I'm just saying, if you're not a wholesaler or anything like that, how are you packaging your, your orders? I know some people put candy in their packages. Me, personally, I don't ever eat any candy. I've never ate any candy that came in my packages because I'm not even a candy person. But... Are you like, what are you doing? Are you, I literally, I received a package from somebody. I wish I wouldn't have, I honestly don't know where it is. <coughs> but her brand, I received a package from somebody in my P.O. box. And her brand was like a turquoise brandish. And her her lash boxes matched the theme of her, her, her of her brand. Her She wrapped the stuff in tissue paper that matched her brand. Like, it's so many things you can do to set your business apart from other brands. And how will people know this is if you post videos, packaging videos. Even if you don't have an order. Say you, like, it's a slow day, a slow week, you haven't had any orders. Just post the packaging video. Post a TikTok or something and save it and post it on your Instagram about how you usually package your orders. Be like, packaging an order. This is how I package my orders. Put the box. If you have custom tissue paper, theme tissue paper, the little grass stuff, I don't know what they're called. Your business card, candy. However you package your, your uh, orders, post a video on that so people can see, oh, her packaging is cute. Like, I've purchased from people, like, I love packaging as far as, even though my business is not, like, branded packaged wise because I'm a wholesaler but when I order from other small businesses and I just love to see how all of them are different like I can have all these packages come from different people and they're all packaged different their business card is different their thank you card flyer is different some people have handwritten notes some people have custom gifts like it's just so many different ways you can customize your business to make it be different from somebody else well yeah you might get this from them but with me you get blah 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 like <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is promoting if like promoting is if you're not promoting your business how you expect to get some sales like that's kind of common sense you can't just not be promoting your business any type of way and expect the sales to come you got to put in the work put in the work like I'm saying that with my chest you got to put in the work you got to promote word of mouth you got to promote through all your social media platforms whether somebody likes your post or doesn't like your post all that matters is somebody sees it because you know your girl when she started her business she was getting no likes one or two likes but guess what G guess what my business still grew my business still hit six figures in nine months and likes do not mean anything promote 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 uh, as far as your personal page goes, you can't really be annoying and constantly posting your, your business on there. Because even with me, I don't post my business at all on my personal pages. Like, um, as far as my Facebook goes, I don't post my personal business on there anymore. I have a business page. I have a Facebook business page. And I just share my page into Facebook groups. Or people, because I've had my posts go viral, so a lot of people are like have liked and followed my business page. So that's how like my my page gets like views and reaches people. But as far as my personal pages, Snapchat, I don't really post my business on there anymore because I haven't like I've probably gained two sales from Snapchat since I started my business over a year ago. As far as Instagram goes, like I said. I don't like posting my business on my personal page because people are not supportive, people are haters, people just watch, they just watch and they don't, but they still seeing it but they don't, they're not, they're most likely not going to be your supporter, they're most likely not going to be your target audience. You need to figure out what your target audience is and I have a video on finding your target audience but you need to figure out what your target audience is and and promote your business post one to three times a day if it's your business page you need to be posting one to three times a day different content different different types of videos or pictures don't just be posting the same exact thing over and over and over again nobody wants to see that nobody wants to see you post the same lip gloss over and over and over again they just don't go live go live on instagram show your inventory show what you got show like show everything i love going live as much as the trolls and stuff be coming on my lives and trying to start stuff but i love going on instagram live because it's a way for me since i don't do dms and stuff like that it's a way for me to 
you know, reconnect and chat with my customers, chat with business owners and stuff like that and just show my inventory. And I always gain sales when I go live. But the thing with going live is you got to grow your page first, kind of. You can't really be going live with like 100, 200 followers because most likely you only going to have two, three views. Even though with my lives, I have what I'm almost at 15,000. Let me see. I don't remember how many followers I have on Instagram. I don't know why uh, Face ID don't want to work right now. I want to be camera shy. But on my Instagram currently right now, I'm at 16.4K. So I'm about to be at 16,500 followers. But I didn't start going live till I was like... I had thousands of followers when I went live. I never went live with like 100 or 200 followers. But even with me having 16,000 followers, when I go live, it, it don't be more than 30, 40 people in there. When I was doing my live auction, I had like, at one point it was like 40 something people in there, then 30 something people. But when you end the live, you see all the people that actually like saw because people come and go, come and go, come and go. But going live definitely helps. Going live definitely helps. <clears throat> What else did I want to talk about? Let me go back to my notes real quick. Um, forcing people to shop with you. Please do not force people to shop with you. I literally have not shopped with several businesses because they feel like I need to shop with them. And like I said, one thing you're not going to do is force me how to spend my own money that I've worked hard for. I work very hard for my money. Y'all know I got my full, I still have my full-time job and I work very hard for my money. I, I get no sleep do, with my business. I go to work and I, I work very hard for my money. And one thing you're not going to do is for somebody to shop with you because that's that, that's just gonna be like you know what I was gonna shop with you but just for you telling me that I'm not gonna shop with you like so many people nowadays all they care about is purchase for purchase follow for follow what happened to the genuineness what happened to just support you don't have to you don't have to shop with someone to support them support is a hundred percent free a simple share a simple like a simple like referral that's all free but as far as shopping, purchase for purchase, those stuff, I don't do those stuff. I used to do follow trains, but even with that, after the fact, they, they unfollow you, they unsubscribe from you, stuff like that. So that's why I don't do it. I just want my page to grow organically. I just want organic support. I don't want fake support. I don't want anything like that. But do not force people to shop with you because you never know that person might have been looking at your page and just for you coming at them that way they're not going to shop with you because like i said that has happened to me several times i have people say i've shopped with you but you haven't shopped with me y'all know how many customers i have i have not gotten a chance to shop with every single customer and i may never and that's just that's just that I love supporting small businesses, but I cannot support every single small business out there. That's just impossible for me to support. I, I sell lashes. I used to sell lip gloss. Even if I don't sell lip gloss, I know how to make my own lip gloss and I can make my own. But I still support other businesses and, and purchase their lip glosses. I still support other businesses and purchase their lashes. I buy a whole bunch of stuff from small businesses. But it's like you can't support every single business out there. And just because someone shops with you or you shop with somebody don't mean they gonna shop with you i don't shop with anybody for them to shop with me i've shopped with several businesses and they've never made a purchase i've shopped with some and they'll turn around and shop with me in return but that's not why i did it i just like something i saw or i wanted to support or they had a promotion going on and i'm like oh let me go ahead and you know cop some stuff because they got a whole promotion going on like you feel me like they got a promotion or something so let me go ahead and shop and support a business while at that but please y'all do not be as do not force nobody to shop with you if you just sit down and strategize and evaluate your business and figure out things you can do there's so many ways you can get sales like even if you're not getting 20 to 30 sales a week there's some things you can do just to gain at least a couple sales a week if you just started your business but that's pretty much it for this video i hope i hope i was i tried to be as informative as possible like i always take detailed notes before i record any video like because i will forget and i will start rambling throughout the whole video so i always take detailed notes and like on and just stuff that will help whoever's watching this video i hope if you're not getting any sales you my camera literally cut me off she said uh, uh you talking too much you talking too much but my camera cut me off y'all but what i was basically trying to say was 
I try my best. Oh, I'm cramping so hard, y'all. I'm cramping so hard. But what I was trying to say was I try my best to be as informative as possible in my videos because before I started my own business, I watched lots of people's journeys on YouTube. A lot of people I look up to, I was watching their videos like months to a year before I started my own. And now that I have my own, I want to help people in the same way. I want to put out content, put out videos that will help them, you know. So that's why I be taking my time. That's also why a lot of times I be having the video ideas, but I got to take detailed notes because I don't want to forget anything or stuff like that. But if you watched all this, the video all the way through, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We back with the back to back to back to back to back videos, <laughs> like back to back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.